Lily and we are looking at the practical application point of walking as observer within your process of walking through your mind in uh, of utilizing the practical application point of observer to assist and support yourself to have an objective momentary outside perspective of yourself for yourself to be able to step back and just have a look at how it is that you are doing something thinking something reacting to something and things like that now we do mention within video interviews or material now and then um, to assist and support oneself in for example walking through a point to for a day or two or three observe yourself within uh, what it is that you're doing, how you're doing it, why, what are you um, taking note of, um, and things like that. Now, understand that what we mean by observing within that context is to walk through your daily participation, and as you're participating, what you will find that you'll be able to do is literally observe yourself, meaning observe yourself is becoming and being aware of certain things that you do, how you do it, and why you do it. And to within that awareness, just watch yourself within and through your day, when you do it, how you do it, and why you do it. So standing as observer is simply a point of awareness. Um, it is, observer is just a practical application point that one can utilize in having a look at getting more information, so to speak, of how self, why self, and how self uh, do certain things within a particular construct, personality, or system. So it's not like being observant of yourself in a particular point is separating you from yourself. No. Being observer is the practical application of being aware of a certain thing, point, or action that one do within one's world and one's reality, to in that awareness watch and see if one can throughout one's daily participation find more of how one is getting self into a particular reaction or personality or thought pattern. And within that to then when you are done with your day that you have observed yourself in self-awareness of a particular point in how you do it and why, to at the end of the day sit with yourself, write out what you have found within your observant awareness and assist and support oneself to um, thus be able to walk one's process of writing self-forgiveness and self-corrective application so the more specific and effective because you've now seen more things about what you accept and allow in a particular mind pattern or personality or behavioral pattern and within that seeing you can thus change your application and your approach uh, to be more specific in not accepting and allowing the mind pattern or personality or particular reaction and um, so therefore that's what we mean by when we say observe yourself it's to put an awareness like a flag point of a particular specific point that you're facing um, be aware of it as you're walking through your day and just watch yourself as you're or when you may or might go into it and as you go into it or um, experience it Again, observe, be aware of what is specifically going on inside yourself so that when you get to your writing, your self-forgiveness and your practical application change, it will be a lot more specific. And then also another point, this with regards to the self-separation that we found also come up is when people refer to themselves in the third person of creating like an alternate self. Um, meaning where, for example, you will do writing and you will refer to yourself as self or um, like a, literally referring to yourself not to me or I doing this or doing that. It is then referred to as self did this or self did that. Um, note that in accepting and allowing that, obviously referring to yourself to another person or another self is indication of separation. Whenever you do writing, make sure that it is within self-responsibility. I, me, um, and that 
to realize, see, and understand that even though there is a self that is being established, being manifested, being built, so to speak, within and as one's process, one is not yet that self, meaning it is still, I'm in the process of establishing, building, or manifesting uh, me as equality and oneness. And um, so just watch out for those tendencies of referring to an alternate self that do not yet exist when it is always all self here that is walking a process out of the mind into the physical. There is only one self. <laughs> this is self. I, me, taking responsibility for myself. Um, all right, so just clarifying those two points in relation to observer and what is observing yourself in awareness which is simply a practical application point as tool that you can utilize in the process and then watching out for that tendency of referring to an alternate self instead of just referring to i me myself here walking a process as me okay thank you very much